I don't know when you started counting when the era that we're living in now began. Was it March or maybe April or February, or maybe even earlier because you're really on top of things and you saw what was happening? Uh, but I can pretty much be assured that no matter when you started counting, this is not a future that even five months ago any of us could have predicted or would have contemplated. And so it got me thinking about my future and your future. And I'd like to share with you a couple of tools that I think will make our futures a lot better. And we'll do so coming up next on this episode of the VO Heroes podcast. There's a quote that is erroneously attributed to Abraham Lincoln. Uh, usually the the people that it rests on, uh, Alan Kay, uh, who is a futurist, a technologist, uh, Dennis Gabor, who is uh, credited with creating holography, you know, holograms, uh, even Forrest Shackley <laughs> from the Shackley Corporation. And the quote goes something like this, the best way to predict your future is to create it or the best way to predict your future is to invent it. And for me, growing up, I had uh, just a terrible relationship with my stepfather, who was in my life from very early, like when I was three or four or five. And I don't really remember. Um, he just didn't get me. And his worldview was very limited. Uh, I have a feeling that if today he was alive, he would be, uh, you know, one of those people who wants to make America great again, you know, and I think everybody does, don't we? Just how we go about it. That's a little different. Anyway, he never got me. He never understood what I wanted for my future because he was living a future that I don't think he was very happy with. And when I started thinking about the fact that many, many people feel as though life is so unpredictable and so uncontrollable that they don't even want to contemplate the idea of helping to guide it. You know, life happens to them. And that makes me very uncomfortable for me. I don't want life to just happen. What I want is to make choices and learn what I need to know to help guide and shape my future. And that becomes a choice. And I think it's a choice that you can make as well. You may not think you're capable of it. You may not think you have the power to do it. You may not think you have the personality to do it. You may not think you have the information that you need to do it, but I'm here to tell you, you do. You do. It's a simple binary choice. Now, you may choose not to, and that's great, but think about the difference this can make in your life. These two tools are designing your future and then actually creating or inventing your future. Now, certainly, as I've noted, unexpected things, external events can put the kibosh on the best laid plans, right? But... If you never make plans, if you never think to yourself, okay, I'm going to make a difference here. I'm going to actually try to guide my future. I'm just going to let life happen to me. Whatever happens, happens. It's gotten me this far, right? But what if you took the moment and said to yourself, no, I'm actually only on this earth for a short amount of time. So I'm going to make some decisions that are for me, without feeling like I'm being selfish, without feeling like I'm not taking other people in my life into consideration, but just making sure that I get what I want out of life, that I get the future that I want. So the first thing that I want you to do is think about designing your future. What is it that you want? What do you want? And that can be hard for some people to answer because they just don't know. But I want you to write that down on a piece of paper. What do you want? By the way, that was a drinking game 
when uh, when Scandal from Shonda Rhimes was on because the characters used to say that all the time. What do you want, Olivia? What do you want? Take a drink. But it's a question that can really help design what you do after that. So jotting down what you want and be crazy, awesome with yourself. Not, you know, I'd like health, which is great. And in some cases, when people aren't healthy, wanting health is a big deal. But what do you want from your future occupation? What do you want for your future social life? What do you want for your future relationships? What do you want for your future knowledge base? What do you want? Just going through that exercise is something most people never do. It just kind of happens. Oh, I met this guy or this woman one day and we hit it off and they were doing this and I kind of fell into that. And But what about if you actually write down what it is you want? And you might find that those answers come very quickly. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do that. If a home run is this, jot it down, right? So just take the time to declare what it is you want. And how you get there is entirely up to you. Sometimes you need money. Sometimes you need knowledge. Sometimes you need a relationship with someone who can help you. Sometimes you need tools, physical tools. Sometimes you need a change in attitude. Sometimes you need to be open to possibilities. So the first one is, what do you want? Design your future. State it. Say this is what you're going to do. And then the big step, the second step, create it. Just create it. Now, you could be saying to yourself right now, you're crazy. What do you mean just create it? How do you possibly do that? Well, look around you. It's not a race, but other people have done what you want to do. And it wasn't because they were born to it. It wasn't because the universe conspired to keep you from doing it, but let them do it, right? Even if you're into the attraction theory, the universe wants your success. So figure out the first step. Take that first step. Move toward creating your future. Just one step. Then take the second step. Then the third step. And then the fourth step. And all of a sudden, you're on a journey to creating the future you designed. Now, all of this, you might be thinking to yourself, that's really simplistic. It, it worked for you, but you have some advantage I don't, I don't have. I don't know what that advantage would be. I mean, look at me, you know? So why not give yourself those two gifts? At the very least, the knowledge of what you want for your future. And at least the first, maybe the first, second, and third, maybe the first 10 but moving toward your future by creating it. I just want that for you, especially now at a time when we're all still kind of given more time than we thought we'd have and can ponder these things and make these things. If this resonates with you, I'm thrilled. I really am. I've had conversations over the past week with people like, how do you decide to do the things that you do? And my answer became very clear. It's an overt choice. I know what I want. And I figure out how to go get it. I design my future. And I figure out how to create it. And then create it. And I want that for you. Does this make sense to you? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below this video. Especially if there are speed bumps in this process for you. I don't deserve it. I'm, I'm not smart enough. I'm not well connected enough. Whatever they are, I would love to know what they are. And I'd also like to know if you think to yourself, oh, you just codified what I decided to do. I'd love to know in the comments below. And you'll also find a little note in the show notes for the, this particular episode that uh, one of the things that many of the people that I know, because they're my tribe, want for their future is voiceover. And in particular, they want to explore audiobooks because it's the quickest way to make money in voiceover. And if you're watching this podcast the day it's released, uh, it's the last day that we have registration open for the ACX Masterclass. 
Uh, 9 o'clock tonight Pacific is when the doors close. We start class on Monday. And I would love to be the person that helps introduce you to and makes you uh, at least contributes to your success in the world of audiobooks, the ACX Masterclass at acxmasterclass.com. If you want to register for it, you've only got a few hours. Uh, it closes for sure tonight at 9 o'clock because I'm the guy that closes the doors. But think about your future. If that's a part of it, you might want to apply what I've said in this podcast to that. But I really want to know if the message of the best way to predict the future is to invent it makes sense if you can design your future, which nobody can stop you from doing, right? Nobody says you can't say the answer to the question, what do you want? And then taking those steps, starting with the first baby step, maybe it's a big step, I don't know, but design your future and then create your future as opposed to letting life just happen, letting your future just occur. Let me know. I'd love to hear. Go to voheroes.com. That's where the conversation is safe and moderated. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and for listening, and I'll talk to you next time.